Let's get started. Shake it out. Shake the tiredness and the stress out of your system. And Fantastic. And then when you feel ready, find your way to lie down. So you might want to bring your bricks, if you have them, into T position at the back of the mat. Okay? And then just put one in between the shoulder blades, one in your head. And Caroline, on the bolster, make sure it slopes, yeah? Yeah, slope it a little bit, that's it. Okay? Lovely. And then if you're happy with the soles of the feet together, then bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, arms a little bit away from you with the palms up. And take a nice deep breath in and sigh the breath out. And let's do that twice more. Nice deep breath in and sigh out. One more time. And then allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly. And watch as the breath flows in, watch as the breath flows out. And notice how you're feeling right now. And when you are ready, start to encourage the breath to be a little slower so that your in-breath becomes a little bit deeper and your out-breath becomes a little bit longer. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose if you can. Take the breath all the way down now, down the spine, all the way into the pelvic floor. And as you breathe out, start to hug the muscles of the pelvic floor, the lower belly and the lower back in towards the spine and lift upwards. And then as you breathe in, send the breath down and relax the pelvic floor, the lower belly and the lower back. Breathing out, hug those muscles in and lift them up. Breathing in, send the breath down and relax the muscles. And stay with the breath. Okay? Every time the mind wanders from the breath, just keep bringing it back to the breath in and the breath out. So today I thought we would work on some of the forward bending poses because Joe said to me last Thursday that I tend to do more back bends and not many forward bends. So I thought today I'll do some forward bending. So if you don't like forward bend, you can blame Joe for it later. <laughs> Keep breathing, staying with the breath. And the one thing about forward bends is they can be quite uncomfortable because you're closing off the front of the body and it may, be a little, may feel difficult to breathe. So when we're going into a deeper forward bend, see if you can direct the breath into the back of the body. Okay? And the back of the lungs are much bigger than the front, so you can just focus on breathing into the back of your lungs and then allow the lungs to expand, allow the upper back to expand as you breathe. Okay? And then that might help you to feel a little bit more comfortable in your forward bend. Yeah? And also, obviously, only go as far as it's comfortable. You don't ever want to overdo it. So if you have just arrived on your mat, you might want to stay on the bricks for a while longer. If you have been on the bricks for a while and you're ready to come off the bricks, then put your feet on the mat and roll over to one side and lie down, allowing the spine to settle. And the other thing about forward bends is that it's quite a bit of a practice that allows you to, to look inwards and, and oftentimes we don't want to look inwards okay so see if you can be with that today if it makes you a little uncomfortable see if you can breathe through it if you are now ready to come off the bricks those of you on the bricks let's come down and do a big full body stretch so everybody inhale and reach the arms overhead and point the toes forward 
and stretch the front line of the body out and then stretch one side and then the other side and keep that going a few times. And when you've done both sides, then use your next out breath to draw the knees up into your chest. Give yourself a big cuddle. Okay? Draw the knees up a little higher, noticing the lower back. And when you're ready, you can bring your forehead up towards your knees and practice breathing into the back body. So sending the breath into the back lungs up, and then as you breathe out, draw the belly in and up a little bit more. And gently rock it out side to side. And then relax the head back down. Keep your right knee hugging into the chest. Extend the left leg forward. Okay? And start to do your hip circle into that right hip joint. So Caroline, if it becomes uncomfortable lying on your back, you can get the bolster under your back if you want to, okay? And then go the opposite direction a few times. Wonderful. And let's hold on to the back of our right thigh. Okay? Keep the knee pointing straight up to the ceiling. As you exhale, extend the right leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot. Inhale and bend the right knee back down. Exhale and extend back up, flex the foot. Inhale and lower it back down. Okay? And let's do it four more times. And on the last one, keep your leg up there. Point and flex the foot a few times. And then rotate the ankle in one direction three or four times. And go in the opposite direction three or four times. Lovely. And then really press the foot up, not the foot. Press the leg and the hand against each other. Press the heel up towards the ceiling. But also extend out through the sole of your left foot. So both legs are really active. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other. And maybe as you get really active, your left foot slightly hovers above the floor. Okay. See if you can draw your right leg in a little bit closer, just a little. Okay. And then take your hands underneath your head. And as you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. And if you want a little gentle practice, put your left foot on the mat. If you're happy doing the stronger practice, extend your left leg out. As you breathe in, lower your right leg down. As you breathe out, take it back up. Breathe in, lower it down. Breathe out, take it back up. And do three more. And then on your last one, keep that right leg up there. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, Twist over to the right, okay? and you can reach your arms to the outside of your right leg if you wish, and pulse up and down a few times. And then exhaling back to center, keep your hands under your head, okay? and we're going to do three circles with our right leg, going in one direction. And then three circles going in the opposite direction. And then lower down, hug the knees into the chest and gently rock it out side to side. Remember not to overdo it, especially if you're pregnant, okay? You don't have to lift your head off the floor. And then we're going to hug the left knee into the chest, extend the right leg forward, press out through the sole of the right foot, and then do some hip circle into that left hip joint. And then go the opposite direction. Lovely. Let's hold on to the back of the left thigh. And keep the knee pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, extend the left leg up, flex the foot. Inhale and bend the knee back down. Exhale, press the heel up. Inhale and bend. And do four more. And 
on your last one, keep your leg up there, press the hands and the leg against each other, okay? and point and flex the foot a few times. And then rotate the ankle in one direction three or four times, and go in the opposite direction for roughly the same number of times. Fantastic. And then really work on pressing the heel up, pressing the leg and the hands against each other. And maybe your right foot lifts a little bit as you press out through the right heel. And breathe. And then maybe you can draw the leg a little closer to you. And breathe, maybe forehead up. And then we're going to take our hands underneath our head. And we're going to do that leg lift. So if you want to gentle practice, put your right foot down with the knee bent. Okay? So inhale as you lower your left leg down. Exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more times. And then keep your leg up there on your last one. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Exhale, twist to the left, and you can either keep your hands under your head and you can reach your hands to the outside of your left leg. A little gentle pulsing up and down. And when you're ready, exhale, bringing your head back to centre, hands supporting the neck. Okay? And do three circles with your left leg. And then do three going in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then lie down, hug the knees into the chest. When you've done that, rocking gently side to side and massaging the back. And then let's do another big full body stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other and get nice and long. And then let's do a banana stretch. So grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand and curve the upper body gently over to the left. And walk your legs over to the left a little bit. And then if you want to, you can cross your right ankle on top of your left one. But make sure that both buttocks are on the floor and both shoulder blades are on the floor and breathe. And then slowly inhale to come back to center and swap hands. You're going to hold your left wrist this time and curve your upper body over to the right, walk your legs over to the right, and if you want to, you can cross your left ankle on top and maybe point the foot and breathe. And then slowly come back to center. And we're going to roll up and down the spine. Caroline, just roll to one side and come up to sit, yeah? Everybody else, we're just going to rock up and down like we normally do. And then the next time you come up, come all the way up. And turn to sit tall. Oh, you were hovering. Well done. I didn't hover because I felt like I'd done enough core work. But, you know, feel free to hover for the next minute or two if you like. Let's sit nice and tall, okay? And let's just start to breathe a little bit. Well, shall we do the Palavati again today? Yeah, we're all happy with the Palavati. We're clear how to do it now, yeah? Caroline, just breathe, okay? So those of you who are happy enough to do the Palavati, sit nice and tall, okay? And if you want to, you can close your eyes and make sure you're keeping the chest lifted, the ribs are lifted and open so you're not slouching in any way, okay? So nice deep breath in through the nose and send the breath all the way out through the nose. Deep breath in through the nose. Send the breath all out. And then breathe in to prepare. Exhale, 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 exhale completely. And then take a deep breath in and breathe it all out. And take a soft half breath and hold the breath. 
Think about drawing the pelvic floor lower belly in and up. If you're pregnant, don't hold the breath, just breathe. And then sigh the breath out. And take a deep breath in. Breathe it in like you're really sipping it and loving it. And then breathe out completely. Another breath in. And out. And a breath in to prepare. Exhale, 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 exhale completely. Deep breath in. And a full breath out. A soft half breath in and hold the breath. Okay. Pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back, drawing in and up. And then sigh the breath out. We're going to do one more round. So deep breath in, let it all out. Another deep breath in, and let it out again. And a breath in to prepare. Hexen, 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 completely. Deep breath in. Let it all out. A small half breath in. Hold it, and pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. And sigh out. Well done, now just breathe normally. And extend the legs out in front of you, Keep, give them a little shake. And then let's recross them. I don't mind which one's in front, but notice which is in front because we're going to swap it around, okay? So sitting nice and tall, hands onto your knees, and we're going to breathe in and lift the chest up, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. As you breathe out, draw the belly in and round the spine, chin down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and round, and we're going to dive forward now. So as you breathe in, dive and then lift the chest. As you breathe out, go back a little and round the spine. Inhale, dive and then lift up. Exhale and round. Two more. Inhale, dive and lift. Exhale and round. One more time. Inhale, dive and lift. Exhaling to round. And then coming to centre, take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, walk your hands forward out in front of you. Okay? Keeping the spine long, coming towards a forward bend. And only go as far as is okay for your body. Think about reaching your fingertips forward and pressing into the fingertips, pushing back with your sit bones and relax your head down. Some of you will be able to get your head to the floor, some of you won't, and that's okay. But keep the arms active, sit bones reaching back, and maybe gently sway it out side to side. And then inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Extend the legs again, shake them out. And then we're going to cross our legs the other way. So have the other leg in front this time, okay? It always feels really weird for me, I don't know about you, okay? But let's have a little twist here. So take your, actually, let's do a side bend first. Take your right hand about a foot away from your right hip, okay? Turn your left palm up, and as you breathe in, lift your left arm up. As you breathe out, bend the right elbow, but keep grounding your left sit bone down. Inhale here, exhale here, okay? One more in-breath, and exhale, sweep your left arm all the way forward and take it to the left. As you breathe in, the right arm reaches up. As you breathe out, bend the left elbow and keep turning the chest up. Deep breath in, and out. Inhale, 
and exhale, sweep across all the way to the right again, and inhale on the right side, and exhale, sweep across to the left, and inhale on the left side. Okay, so we're swapping side to side. Inhale, sweep the right arm forward over to the right, left arm lifts up as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, sweep the left arm forward to the left, and raise your right arm up into the side plane. Wonderful. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Okay? And we're going to fold forward again over our legs here. So nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands forward. Okay? Again, come onto your finger pads and push into the finger pads. Relax your head down. Send your tailbone and sit bones back behind you. And gently sway it out side to side. Lovely, and that's enough sitting for one day. So inhale, slowly walk back up and come onto your hands and knees. And have your knees under your hips, your hands under your shoulders. And as you breathe inside the chest forward, as you breathe out, push into the earth and round the spine. And then hold it here, take a breath into the space between your shoulder blades. As you breathe out, then slide the chest forward and look up. Okay. Breathing in, push into the earth and round the spine. Breathing out, slide the heart forward and look up. And one more time, breathing in to round the spine. Okay. Send the breath into the upper back. Breathing out, lift the belly up, lift the chest, look up. Beautiful. Walk your hands a tiny bit in front of your shoulders, tuck the toes under. And as you breathe out, bottom back and lift up into downward dog, grounding the heels back and down, okay? and then start to walk your dog out, bending one knee and then the other a few times. And then we're going to tiptoe forward, so rise up onto the, onto the balls of your feet, and very slowly, mindfully tiptoe your feet forward, taking the weight into the front of your hands a little more and see if you can bring your toes as far forward as possible, maybe even touching the back of your wrist. Okay? Obviously that's not going to happen for everyone. Okay, So you go where you can go and then from here relax the arms, relax the knees and let your head drop, nod your head yes a few times, shake your head no a few times. Okay? And then wrap your arms behind your legs, okay? grabbing hold of the opposite elbow. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Caroline, that's fine, stay there, you don't need to go any further than that. Okay? Everybody else, okay? grab your opposite elbows behind your legs. Okay? And bend your knees as much as you need to to get your belly onto your thighs. Okay? And then relax your head down again. And if you want to, start to press, well not, not if you want to, just do it, <laughs> press the thighs into your arms as you hug the arms into your legs. Okay? And then see if you can lift the outer hips up a little bit more to work the legs a little straighter. And then release the arms and use your next out breath to press into the feet and roll the spine all the way up, all the way up. And then if you're not dizzy, inhale the arms up and exhale, release the arms down. And then let's get flowing. I just need to have a quick sip. So if you have bricks and you want to use them, keep them at the front of the mat. So stand nice and tall at the front of the mat, feet roughly hip width apart, okay? bricks on either side, fantastic. Let's ground through the feet and inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, soften the knees and fold forward. Okay? Hands onto your thighs, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, take your hands down and step or jump back into downward dog okay. and as you breathe in bend the elbows a little bend the knees a little 
As you breathe out, press the thighs back, wave the spine forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank, pressing out through your feet. Exhale, lower knees, and then chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, release to the floor. Lift up into cobra. And exhale all the way back and up into downward dog. And as you breathe in, lift your right leg up. As you breathe out, bring your right knee to nose. Inhale, take your right leg up again. Exhale, knee to the right upper arm. Inhale, knee, leg up behind you again. Exhale, knee to the left upper arm. Then inhale, the leg all the way back and up. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward, lower your left knee down. And then hands can come onto bricks if that feels good for you. Hug the front foot back knee, inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, rock back, work your front leg towards straight and full. Inhale, come forward again, bend that front knee, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back, dig the heel down and fold over your right leg. Okay. Inhale, one more time, coming forward, lifting the chest. Now exhale, rock back, dig the right heel down, lift the toes up and fold over your right leg. And we're going to keep the right leg straight-ish, okay? So if you need to bend the knee because your hamstrings are tight, that's okay. Have the softness, that's perfectly fine, okay? But dig the heel down and inhale, slide the heart forward a little bit. Exhale, fold over your leg again. Okay? Inhale, keep the belly low, just lengthen the spine forward. Exhale and fold again. One more time. Inhale, slide the heart forward. Exhale, fold and then stay there gently, rocking the hips side to side. Wonderful. And then slide that right leg in. Inhale, coming into lunge again. Exhale, step back into downward dog. And inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale, in, in plank pose. Exhale, you can lower knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, lifting up into cobra or upward dog and exhaling back into downward dog. As you breathe in, lift your left leg up. As you breathe out, left knee to nose, shoulders forward. Inhale, take that left leg back up. Exhale, left knee to the left upper arm. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, left knee to the right upper arm. And inhale, one more time, take the leg back behind you. Exhale, step that left foot forward, lower the right knee down. And hands can come onto your bricks or onto the floor. Okay. Hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Inhale, lift the chest up. As you exhale, rock back, dig the heel down and fold over your left leg. Inhale, come forward, bend the left knee, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back and fold over that left leg again. One more time. Inhale, coming forward, sink the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, go back. Now lift the left toes up, okay? Dig the heel down. And then from here, we're going to inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over that left leg and keep the belly down. But inhale, just lengthen the spine a little bit more forward. Exhale and fold. One more. Inhale, slide the heart forward. Exhale and fold. And then stay there. Sway the hips outside to side. Wonderful. And then inhale to bend that left knee. As you exhale, step mindfully back into downward dog. And inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Exhale, press the thighs back, waist forward, coming into plank. Inhaling in your plank pose. As you exhale, you can either lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhaling, lifting up into cobra or upward dog. 
and exhaling back into downward dog. Bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little, look forward between your hands. And actually, we're going to tiptoe again, okay? So as you exhale, start to tiptoe yourself forward, as far forward as you can, and then relax into your forward bend. And hands onto your thighs, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, push into your feet, roll the spine all the way up, inhaling the arms up, and exhaling the hands down to the heart. And let's do a few little chair plays just to make sure that our hamstrings and all are nice and warm before we stretch them too much more. Okay? So, legs together, okay? hands onto the hips, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, stick your bottom back and bend the knees. Okay? Squeeze your legs together, push down into your hands, draw the belly up and lift the chest up. And just check that you're not sticking your tailbone up towards the ceiling. So draw your tailbone down, ground into the heels, and then you can inhale the arms forward. Exhale, draw your arms back a little and lift up. And we've got Stephen, yay! <laughs> Welcome. Breathe. So think about sinking back a little bit more and lowering just a little more. Okay. Sinking the heels down. And then inhale, come all the way back up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. And as you exhale, step or jump back into downward dog. Inhale to bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press your thighs back, lift the spine up and wave forward, coming into plank. Inhale in plank, pressing back through your feet. As you exhale, if you're lowering chaturanga, shift forward a little bit. Hug the elbows in and then bend. Beautiful. Inhale into cobra or upward dog. Exhale back up into downward dog. Fantastic. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right knee to nose. Okay? And hold it there for a moment, pushing into your hands so that you're lifting the body up away from the floor a little bit. And then on your next out breath, take that right leg all the way forward. Okay? And we're going to stay on the balls of the left foot, hug the inner thighs in, hands can come onto the bricks. Okay? And as you breathe in, lift the chest, look forward a little. As you breathe out, rock the hips back with the right leg towards straight and forward. Inhale, come forward, hug the feet, the, not the feet, but the feet towards each other, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back and fold over your right leg. One more. Inhale, come forward, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back and fold, and then stay folded. Okay? And think about keeping your belly low, but inhale, slide the chest a little bit forward. Okay? And as you exhale, Fold maybe a little bit deeper. Keep the thighs hugging in. Inhale, slide the chest long again. Exhale and fold. One more time. Inhale, slide the chest long. Exhale and fold. And then sway the hips gently side to side. And then we're going to bend that right knee, take a breath in. Okay? And as you breathe out, start to bring your left foot in a little closer. If you're working with bricks, you want to take one brick out in front of you, maybe like 14, 15 inches in front of you. And then as you breathe in, push down into your right leg, lift your left leg up. Okay? Ground the right heel down, lift the chest up, coming into warrior three. Okay? Feel free to keep your hands down on your brick, but if you're ready to bring your hands up, then bring your hands to your heart, press up through both heels, keep the hips square, and breathe. And then exhale, bring your hands back down to frame your right foot, step your left leg back, and then take a breath in, and as you breathe out, go back into downward dog. And in, you can stay here in your dark if you prefer. Otherwise, inhale, bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, wave forward, coming into plank. Inhaling in plank pose. 
As you exhale, shift a little forward, hug the elbows in lower chaturanga. Inhale, lifting up into cobra or upward dog. Exhale, back into downward dog. And as you breathe in, lift your left leg up. As you breathe out, bring the left knee towards your forehead and stay there, push the earth away. And then as you breathe out, bring your left foot forward. Stay on the balls of the right foot, okay? And you can have your hands on your bricks if that makes life a little more pleasant. Okay? What I want you to do is make sure that you're not collapsing into that back leg, okay? Push out through that back heel and press the front of your right thigh upwards towards the ceiling. And inhale, lift the chest. Now as you exhale, start to rock back, work the left leg towards straight and fold. Inhale, bend the left knee, hug the feet in towards each other, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back and fold again. Inhale, bend that left knee, lift the chest up. Exhale, rock back and fold and we're going to stay here. So keep the belly low, inhale, slide the heart forward. And as you exhale, fold, maybe a little deeper, maybe not. Inhale, again, keep the belly low, just lift your chest, lengthen the spine. Exhale and fold. One more. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, and then stay there. Sway the hips gently side to side. Lovely, and then we're going to work into our warrior three. So bend your left knee, okay? And if you're working with bricks, take the bricks forward, okay, for warrior three. If you're not working with bricks, don't worry about bricks, just take your hands forward, about, I don't know, 15, 16 inches, 14 inches, I don't really know. Squeeze your inner thighs together, lift your right leg up, flex that right foot, and keep lengthening the spine forward. And if you can bring your hands off your brick, or off the floor, then bring your hands to your heart, Ground through both feet, okay? even that lifted leg, imagine it's pressing into a wall behind you. Okay? Hug the inner thighs and breathe. And then exhale, release the hands down, lower your left, right leg all the way back. Well done, you guys, that was very nice. And then go back into downward dog. Walk your dog out a little bit. And then those of you vinyasa inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, shift forward, hug the elbows in the lower chaturanga. Lovely. Inhale, lift up into cobra or up dog. And exhale, back into downward dog. Okay. Bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. And you can step or you can jump to the front of the mat. Coming into a standing forward bend. Okay? And we're going to inhale, come up halfway. And again, we're going to do that forward bend where we wrap our arms behind our legs. Caroline, you don't need to do that. You can just hang out in the gentle forward bend. Yeah. Those of you who want to, you can wrap your arms behind your legs. Okay? Grab hold of the opposite elbows. Keep the knees a little soft. Okay? And inhale, lengthen a little bit. Exhale, fold in and press the legs and the arm against each other. Spin your thigh bones in a little bit, okay? And then see if that helps you to straighten the legs a little bit more. You might be able to slide the arms down the back of your legs, helping you to zip in a little bit more. Okay? And then notice if you're hanging out in the back of your feet, so into your heels, or if you've got your weight down in the front of your legs, the feet as well. So see if you can take the weight into both the heels and the balls of the feet. And then release the hands. Use your next out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Inhaling the arms up and exhaling the hands to the heart. If you want to have a quick water break, you're welcome to. And when you're ready, we're going to keep going for a bit more, okay? So standing tall at the front of the mat, let's go through 
chair. So when you're ready, okay, in one breath, stick your bottom back. And as you breathe in, sink the hips down, sweep the arms up. Lovely. As you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Okay. Nice deep breath in here. As you breathe out, stick your bottom back a little bit more and take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Okay. And if, Caroline, just take your hand to the outside of the knee, come into a softer twist. Yeah. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. So we're twisting to the right. Okay. Those of you with your elbow to the outside of the knee, make sure you're not dropping the left knee forward. Hug the thighs in, lengthen the spine, and make sure you roll that right shoulder onto your back. Breathe. And then we're going to look down at the floor in front of our foot. Keep the chest spinning out. And as you breathe out, lift your left foot up and take it all the way back. Wiggle the feet a little bit wider so that you have a wider base of support. Okay? Stay on the balls of your left foot and press out through that left foot. Okay? Hug the thighs in and spin the chest a little bit more. Breathe. And then from here, we're going to release the hands down to the floor. Ground the left heel down for warrior two. Okay? So when you're ready, bend both knees a little bit, push into the feet. Use your out breath to come all the way up into warrior two and adjust the feet so that you're comfortable in your warrior two. Okay? And then from half the legs in towards each other, nice deep breath in. Okay? And as we breathe out, Let's reach forward with our right arm and bring the right forearm onto our right thigh. Okay? Inhale, turn the left arm up and lift that arm up diagonally over towards the front of the mat. Hug the feet in, spin the chest up, 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 breathe. And some of you might find that you can take your right hand down to your right ankle and still spin the chest up, if that's the case, do it. If you collapse the chest down and come back and place your elbow onto your thigh. Beautiful. As you exhale, you're going to bring that left arm across your face and down towards the floor and bring your hands to the floor. Spin your left foot out, walk over towards your left leg and bend the left knee Lift your right toes up. Caroline, keep your hands on the chair so that you don't go so far down. Okay? Everybody else lower into the side lunge. Okay? And then from here, inhale, lift up. Start to walk forward towards your right leg. And then bend that right knee, lift the left toes up. If you can go that far. If going that far is not possible, then don't lift the toes up. Okay? And then let's do it one more time. Inhale, put, bring your hands on the floor, walk over to the left, bend the left knee. If you need to be higher up, this is perfectly fine. Okay? And then nice deep breath in as you walk back towards your right leg and spin to face front. Okay? Inhale at the front of the mat with the right knee bent. Okay? And as you exhale, we're going to step forward to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward bend. Wiggle your feet together, and as you breathe in, sink your hips down, lift your arms up, chair pose. Lovely. As you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Okay. Deep breath in here. As you exhale, you're going to take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Okay. Or if you're pregnant, take your hand to the outside of the knee. Yeah? And then press the palms together, draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, roll your shoulder, your left shoulder onto your back. Just have a little look, making sure that your right knee is not dropped in front of your left. Okay? Slide that right hip back a little bit and breathe. And we're going to work our way back into the lunge twist. So look down at the floor. Okay? Take a breath in and as you breathe out, lift your right foot up and step it back and wiggle the feet a little wider so that you have a wider base of support. Okay? Hug the thighs in, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, spin your chest to the left and get the left shoulder onto your back and breathe. So if you're pregnant, Caroline, just stay up higher, taking your right hand somewhere to the outside of the left knee, 
or you can just come all the way up into T position twist. So don't sink too far down, that's it, yeah. Beautiful. And then, where do we go from here? I've forgotten already. Oh yeah, exhaling everybody, bring your hands to the floor, ground your right heel down for warrior two. Bend the right knee a little bit, and inhale, lift all the way up into warrior two, okay? Adjust the feet, hug the feet in towards each other. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, reach forward, bringing the left forearm onto your left thigh, draw the tailbone under, and inhale the right arm up and over towards the crown of the head, hug the feet in, spin the chest up, breathe. And those who want to take it a little further, you can slide your left hand down to your ankle. Make sure you're not collapsing the chest down. Okay. And then exhale, bring your right arm across the face, down to the floor. And if you want to use your hands, bring your hands to the floor and walk around towards your right leg. Turn the right foot out and bend the right knee into side lunge, okay? And then we're going to move over to the left and do the same thing. So those of you who don't need to move your hands, you just lift up and go over to the left, bend the left knee, okay? And you can use beautiful arm movement like opening your arms wide. And as you breathe in, cross your arms in front of you, ground into both feet and shift over to the right, bend the right knee. Okay? And one last time, inhale, begin to lift, and exhale, you're going to spin all the way forward, back into lunge position. Okay. And then inhale here, exhale, step forward into a standing forward bend. Bend one knee and then the other a few times. Okay. And then we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Okay. So we're going to try to lift our right foot up from down there. Right? So I want to ground your weight into your left leg and take your left hand over the top of your right foot to hold the outside of the right foot. Take your right hand over the top of your left to hold the inside of your right foot. Okay? Hug the thighs in towards each other and look a little forward, ground into your left leg and pick that right foot all the way up. If you're pregnant, just bring that right leg up. You don't have to pick it up. <laughs> There's enough in the way. Okay. And then from here, okay, if you're pregnant, you're just going to work what you can, maybe holding onto the chair and extend the leg out. If you're not pregnant, start to press the foot out into your hand and come up to stand. Now, if you can't extend with the hand holding the foot, then slide your hand up your leg and hold whatever you can hold and extend that leg forward. Okay? If you're still holding the foot, then that's fine, hold it. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, send your bum back a little bit and start to fold over your right leg. And then inhale here. As you exhale, we're going to lower that right foot all the way down the way we came up, up if we can. And then roll the spine all the way up, shake it out a little bit. Are we okay? Can we try again the other side? Okay. So the key thing here, okay, is that you're not actually lifting the foot up with your hands because that's really hard. You're pulling up using your core, okay? So shall we do the other side? Yeah? Smile. <laughs> Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, soften the knees and fold forward, okay? And this time you're going to take your right hand over the top of your left foot to hold the outside of the foot. Left hand crosses over the top to hold the inside of the foot. Okay? Grounding into your right foot, look a little forward and use the breath, use the core to begin to lift that left leg up and I just fell out of it, so don't feel bad if you fall out of it too. Okay? And then remember, we're going to extend the leg. So once you're up, okay, if you know that you can't extend by holding the foot, then hold the back of the thigh. But if you can extend, then you press the foot out in front of you and lift the leg up. Or just hold the back of the thigh and extend the leg up. And we're going to fold over that leg, so it doesn't have to be super high. Press out through the heel, take a nice deep breath in. Okay? And as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the side and begin to fold a little bit over your leg. 
and then the height is fell out again, look, and then you're going to slowly bend the knee and use your out breath to slowly bring the leg back down to the floor without stomping on your foot. And then use your next out breath to come all the way back up and shake it out a little bit. Hey! Well done, okay? So, should we try that at the wall? Do you want to go to the wall just to give that a go? Caroline, stay with the chair, okay? So watch me a second. I'm not sure which wall you can see, but maybe the countertop here. So what I'm going to ask you to do is place one foot on the wall, okay? Like that, yeah? And then you're going to, I don't have much of the space here, but you're going to hug the thighs in and then see if you can start to gently fold over that leg, okay? Yeah, we try that, okay? So get your foot up to the wall, you can. If you haven't got enough wall space and you want to just do the same we did earlier, that's okay too. Okay? So you can lift the leg up, extend it. Okay? So nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, begin to fold over your leg, your lifted leg. Okay? Bring your forehead down towards the leg and breathe. Hug the thighs in towards each other. Spin your thigh bones inwards a little bit to help you find that forward bend by internally rotate your legs. Okay. And then slowly breathe in and come up. And lower that leg down and do the other side. Okay. So bring your foot up onto your wall or furniture or whatever you have there. Okay. Flex the foot, spin the thigh bones in a little bit. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you begin to fold over your leg. Okay. Keep the thigh bones spinning inwards. Breathe. And then inhale to slowly come up okay. and lower that foot down. Okay. I was in a class not long ago where we did something quite cool. So I hope you can see. We put one leg on the wall, like we're in a lunge, but at the wall. Okay. Maybe I can do it here. And then we kind of lean in and take this hand over the foot or take a belt back. I'm guessing I forgot to ask you to take a belt, so we'll do it next week if you remind me. Next week, we're going to find a belt and we're going to lift this leg up and hold on to it. How about that? Is that okay? Today, I'll let you go and not do it, yeah? That's because I can't do it either. So let's sit down. Um, go, let's go through another sequence before we sit down. Stand nice and tall at the front of the mat. Okay. And as you breathe in, float the arms up. And as you breathe out, soften the knees and fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. As you exhale, step a jump to the back of the mat, coming into downward dog. Inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Exhale, press the thighs back away, forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale into cobra. And exhale, knee back into downward dog. As you breathe in, lift your right leg up. As you breathe out, step your right foot forward. And then we're going to walk our hands forward and lift our left leg up as we breathe in, coming in towards a warrior three pose again, okay? Then from here, inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, begin to fold over your right leg. Walk your hands in a little closer to your right foot. And you can keep the right knee a little bit bent, okay? But work on pressing that left leg up, up, up. Point the toes up towards the ceiling. Spin the thigh bones in, okay? And keep lifting up, up, up. And then as you exhale, take your left leg and cross it all the way behind the right, all the way up, and lower your right knee down, okay? And come to sit for Adamatsi and Drasana, okay? So if this is horrible for you, feel free to extend the left leg out in front of you, okay? And Caroline, you're twisting to the left, yeah? Everybody else will twist to the right, okay? So take your right hand back to the floor behind you, okay? Inhale the left arm up, exhale, spin to the right and take the left arm to the outside of the right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, 
Exhaling, twist, breathe. Feel free to do that gentle little wriggle, it's all good. And we're going to inhale here. Exhale, spin to the left, take the left arm back behind you, right hand to the inside of the right leg. Press the arm and the leg against each other and twist the look back to the left hand and breathe. Nice deep breath in and exhale, turn to the front. You're going to take that right leg okay, and move it out to the right okay, nice and wide and then you're going to bring your hands forward, lift your bum up and take your left leg back into lunge position, but lizard lunge, so your right leg is out wide. Okay? Some of you will want to stay here. Some of you will work on spinning your thigh bones in and sliding your right shoulder underneath your right leg. Okay? Hug the thighs and start to push into the earth. Lift your right heel off the floor for a moment. Okay? And keep hugging the elbows now towards each other. See if you can tip forward, lift your right leg up, hug the elbows in, and use your glutes to lift your left leg up. You might, you might not, okay? And then exhale, if you've lifted your left leg, lower it back down, and everybody step back into that with a dog, walk your dog out a little bit. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot forward. Okay? And start to walk your hands forward. Bring your right leg in and lift your right leg up, coming into warrior three as you breathe. In with your hands on the floor. Okay? And then as you breathe out, you're going to walk your hands back towards your left foot. Relax your head down. Hug the inner thighs in and press that right leg up into a standing split. And keep pressing that right leg up, spinning the thigh bones in and breathe. And then exhale, cross your left, no, your right leg all the way out to the left, okay? And lower the right knee down, lower your right knee down and come into Adhmatsyandrasana. Feel free to extend your right leg straight, yeah? Left hand behind you. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, spin to the left and take the right arm to the outside of that left knee. Guide the knee across the chest a little bit. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale and twist. Breathe. If you want to do a little micro movement, that's perfectly fine. Wriggling your spine a little. Nice deep breath in and exhale, turn all the way to the right, right hand down behind you, left hand to the outside, uh, to the inside of the left knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale and twist, breathe. Nice deep breath in and exhale, turn back to the front again, so your left leg now, goes out wide okay, and forward and then you're going to lift your bum up and extend your right leg straight back into lizard lunge okay? and then those of you who want to stay here please stay here if you want to go further you spin your thigh bone in especially the left thigh bone and nudge the left shoulder underneath your left leg okay? and then squeeze your inner thighs in hug the elbows in okay? And you might want to start to creep your left foot a little forward, hug the elbows in, tip forward, and then extend that left leg out, bend the elbows and float the right leg back up behind you. Kundinyasana. May or may not happen. Okay? And then you lower the right leg down if you've done it, then bring the left foot in and step back down with dog. Walk your dog out. And then bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little, take a breath in. 
And as you breathe out, okay, we're just going to do a little hop to come and land at the front of the mat with our ankles crossed, and then we're going to lower down to sit. So deep breath in, and as you breathe out, hop forward, cross the ankles, lower the knees down, extend the legs out. Okay. Are we good? We're okay? Not everybody's favorite class, I know we don't all like forward bends, but there you go. Okay. So, if you know that forward bends are really not your thing, and you tend to sit and round the back out like that, grab a cushion or a brick and sit on the front edge. Okay? So make sure that when you're sitting, the sit bones are right at the front. So you're kind of already half falling off the brick, and that will help tilt the pelvis forward a little bit. Okay? And we'll do legs straight. Okay? If you have tight hamstrings, bend the knees a little. And also, if you're sitting on the brick and you're still slightly rounded, try bending the knees a little. See if that helps you to keep the spine up a little bit more. Okay? Then from here, take a nice deep breath in. I'm bending my knees a little. And as you exhale, feel like you're lifting up and over and then coming forward. Bring your hands somewhere comfortable. Okay? But you're going to put the outside edge of your hands to the floor. Okay, so you're knife edging your hands onto the floor, so the little finger side. Okay? And then look a little forward, dig the heels down, and with your hands just slide forward and back a few times. Keep the spine long, look a little forward so we're not rounding out just yet. And then when you're ready, press your fingertips now into the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax the elbows out to the side and fold. Inhale, dig the heels down, lift the chest up a little bit more. Exhale and fold again. Inhale and lift the chest, slide your heart forward. And then exhale, fold and stay. Relax your head, relax your elbows, keep your feet active. Okay. And then gently sway side to side. And then slowly breathe in and come back up. Fabulous. And then now we're going to do one last forward bend. Okay. So take your feet nice and wide. Okay. Move the flesh off your sit bones. Again, those of you who need to sit on a brick, sit on a brick. It's perfectly fine to do that. But flex your feet, have your knees pointing straight up. Okay? And let's just start going side to side first. Okay? So keeping the sideways nice and long, start to reach over to one foot and then to the other. Okay? And then when you go to the right next time, we're going to stay there. Draw the belly in, spin the chest up towards the ceiling. Lengthen both sides of your waist and then inhale the left arm up. And exhale, reach the left arm over. See if you can spin the chest up a little bit more. Some of you will be able to get your right shoulder to the inside of your right leg and your left hand all the way to the foot and still spin the chest up. If that's the case, you do it. But if you're collapsing the spine down, don't do it. Basically, you're aiming to have your right elbow pointing down at the floor, your left elbow pointing up towards the ceiling. And breathe. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to fold. So you're going to start to turn and fold over your right leg. Okay? So keep the left heel digging down, spin your chest over your right leg and relax your head down. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And then when you breathe in next time, lift the chest up a little bit and start to walk your hands towards the center of the mat and keep going until you get to the left leg. The left hand comes onto your left leg, okay? And then draw the belly in, spin the chest up. Inhale the right arm up and over. And remember, feel free to stay right here, not go further, okay? But if you feel you have it in you today to get your left shoulder to the inside of the leg, holding onto the foot, and then lift the right arm up and over to find that foot as well, then you do that. But the key is 
to spin the chest up. Breathe. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly, slowly turn over your left leg. So it's a little bit of a twist there as well. Fold over that left leg. And breathe. Then inhale, lift the chest up. Slowly walk your hands now to centre. Okay? And as you breathe in, dig the heels down. Lift the chest a little bit. As you breathe out, begin to fold towards the floor. Inhale, wave the heart forward a little. Exhale and fold. One more. Dig the heels down. Inhale, wave the heart up a little. Then exhale, fold. Relax your head, relax your shoulders, relax everything that you can relax, except for your legs. Keep your feet nice and active. Draw the toes towards your shin bones and breathe. Wonderful. And then inhale to slowly come back up. Take your hands underneath your knees and lift the legs up. Oh, bring the knees together. And shall we have another little twist before we lie down on our back? Okay, so take your left arm across your legs. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, spin the chest to the right and take the hand down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and twist. And then because we've done so much, I thought we should add a bit of core work. May as well do a bit more while we're here, okay? So those of you who want to stay in the twist, you can stay in the twist. But if you want a little bit more, let's take the left upper arm for the outside of the right knee, palm facing out. And then the right hand also is lifted off the floor, palm facing out as well, okay? We're not doing an arm balance, we're doing core work, right? So from here, lean back a little bit, squeeze your inner thighs together, float the feet up, breathe. And then exhale, lower down, and spin back to center. And then we're going to twist to the other side, okay? So right arm wraps across your legs, okay? And inhale the left arm up, exhale, take it back behind you as you twist to the left, Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, and twist. Little movement here. And then, of course, those who want to take it into the core work, you're going to bring your right arm to the outside of your left leg and press the arm and the leg against each other, palm facing out. Left hand lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean back, float the feet up. And then exhale, release, spin back to centre. And then just give yourself a gentle hug, dropping the chin down for a moment. And then let's find our way onto the floor. Okay? So roll the spine all the way down. And we're going to do some back bending to counterpose all that forward bending today. Right? So have your feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, ankles underneath the knees and arms. Let's just move up and down first before we hold it. So bring your hands alongside your hips. As you breathe in, ground down through the feet and peel the spine up, arms up. As you breathe out, slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, ground down through the feet, peel the spine up, lift the arms up. Exhale and slowly come back down again. Inhale when you're ready, lift back up. Exhale and lower it back down. And then let's, this time we're going to hold it. So you want to bring your arms into robot arm position. Press the upper arms down, get the shoulder blades hugging the spine and the chest lifting. Then as you breathe out, ground down into your feet, lift the spine up off the mat. Okay? And once you're up there, lift the chest a little more, maybe take your hands underneath, you interlace the fingers, 
and wriggle the upper arms a little closer together underneath you. Okay. Press into your arms, press into your feet, lift your bum up, lift the chest up, breathe. Remember, if you sound like a smurf, you need to lift your chin up a little bit. You don't want to be pressing the back of the neck too far into the back. And exhale, release the hands and slowly come all the way down. And just stay there for a moment because we're going to go up again. So one more bridge and then maybe one wheel. Okay? So set yourself up for your bridge pose, arms in robot arm position again. And as you breathe in, press into the upper arms, lift the chest up. As you breathe out, draw the belly in, curl the tailbone up, lift up. Hands underneath you, interlace the fingers. Okay. And then press the arms down, lift the bum up, lift the chest up, breathe. And when you're ready, release the hands, use your out breath, roll the spine all the way down. Okay. And again, just stay here a moment. Feel free to start to drop the knees side to side if it helps you to twist it out a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to set up either for bridge or for wheel. So if you're going to go into bridge, you start with your arms in robot arm position. Okay? Getting your ankles underneath your knees, feet and knees are at least hip width, maybe a little wider for some. Okay? And then hands, those going into the wheel, hands by your ears, okay? elbows above the wrists. Okay? And then hug the elbows in and then wherever you are. As you breathe in, think about lifting the chest already. As you breathe out, push down into your hands, into your feet and lift up, either into bridge or into wheel. Okay? And if you've lifted up into wheel and you want to come onto the balls of the feet, come onto the balls of the feet and maybe try walking the feet a little closer to your hands, lower the heels down and press and lift the chest up a little bit more. And then wherever you are, use your next out breath to slowly come down. If you're in wheel, tuck the chin in and lower all the way down. If you're in bridge, just release the hands and come all the way down. And now take your feet a little wider, drop your knees into the center so they touch, and wrap your arms across your chest and breathe into the back body. And then those of you who want to take it into a shoulder stand, okay? here's a good place for it. If you don't like shoulder stand, you can grab your brick okay? and press into your feet, lift your bottom up, slide the brick underneath your sacrum, and that's perfectly fine either with the feet down or with the feet up, knees bent, or you can take the leg straight up. Okay? If you want to go all the way into a shoulder stand, then make sure that you Kick up support under the lower back and wriggle your elbows a little closer together. You might want to go towards plow so that you can really get the elbows and the shoulders set up to support you. Okay? And then when you're ready, take the legs up. Okay? And think about getting the shoulder blades hugging the spine a little. Okay? And those in shoulder stand, you can do variations if you like. You can take one leg down behind you and then bring it back up. And then the other leg down behind you, bring it back up. If you're on brick, you can just stay or you can try one leg up and down, that's fine too. Okay? And then you might want to take both legs up and then open them out wide. And maybe you want to bring the soles of the feet together so you're in Baddha Konasana upside down right? and then gently twist side to side too. And then if you want to go into plow pose, taking the feet down behind you and press out through the heels, whether the feet are on the floor or not, press out through the heels. Okay? 
If the feet are on the floor, you can try bending the knees so that they come down next to your ears and maybe wrapping your arms across the back of your legs. And if that's not comfortable, just be where it is okay for your body. Okay. Just take another breath or two. We're going to start to think about coming back down. So if you're in plow or if you have your knees down by your ears, start to lift your legs up a little bit. Tuck your chin in now, hands to the floor, and slowly roll the spine down. If you're lying on bricks, press into your feet, lift the brick out of the way, okay? lower your bum back down, and then just find your way into a comfortable neutral spine position. So you can have your knees bent, feet wide, knees together, or you can have the legs straight, whatever works to help you just let the spine settle for a moment. Now those of you who've just been in a shoulder stand, okay, I'd like you to go lie on your front and we're going to go into locust pose. Okay, so just roll from where you are, roll onto your front and we're going to do locust. If you've not been in a shoulder stand and you don't want to go into the locust but you prefer to go into the fish pose, you're welcome to go into the fish pose. Okay, but I'm hoping that you know what you're doing because I can't do both. Those in the locust, Okay. Bring your forearms down, lift your chest up, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, extend out through the balls of the feet, lift the feet up. Okay. And take your arms back behind you, interlace the fingers and draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. But look down a little bit, so you're lengthening the back of the neck rather than tilting it back and compressing it. Okay. So think about lengthening the back of the neck, lengthening the feet, lifting the chest. And then exhale, release down, and slide one shoulder underneath you and roll back onto your back. And now we're going to do our fish pose together. So if you've just done a fish, you can do a second fish, okay? So bend your knees, and have your feet on the mat, okay? And then you're going to press into your feet, lift your bum up a little bit. Take your hands underneath you with the palms down. Interlock just the thumbs, okay? and then wriggle the arms underneath you, then place the palms flat on the floor, you can unlock the thumb and put your bum onto your wrist. Okay. So bum comes down onto your wrist. Extend your legs out in front of you, okay. and flex the feet, push down into your elbows, lift the shoulders, lift the head up, and then drop the crown of the head down towards the floor. Okay. And breathe. And some of you might want to try, inhale one leg up, Exhale, lower. Inhale, the other leg up. Exhale, and lower. And if you want, you can inhale both legs up. Okay. Your choice. And you might want to even wriggle your arms out if the legs are up, palms together, pointing your hands towards your feet. And then exhale, release the hands, the legs. Slide your head out, lower down, and just settle into a neutral spine position for a moment. Think about lengthening the back of the neck a little bit. So chin can come a little bit towards the chest. And then pick a twist of your choice to end the practice. Whatever twist feels good for your body right now, pick that, do a twist to one side, a twist to the other side, and we're going to relax. So once you've completed your twists, if you haven't, go ahead and finish it, but when you have finished it, then find your way into a comfortable pose for relaxation. So if you want to put socks on or warm layers on, please do. If you're happy enough where you are and you're ready to relax, we're just going to do a little bit of focus work here. Okay? So you're not just letting go completely yet, but let the body go soft. Let the body be soft, but stay focused on the breath for a moment.
and notice how the body is feeling with each breath. Okay, so notice the breath first and then notice how the body is feeling with each breath. So focus on breathing in, breathing out and see if you can draw your attention inward so that you become aware of all your senses, become aware of the sensation in, that you feel in your body. And see if you can start to gently reflect on the forward bending today. Or on your whole practice, it doesn't have to be the forward bend. Was there any point where you felt frustrated with the work? Or did you feel joyful all the way through? Just become aware. Okay? Maybe you start to think, oh yeah, when we did that lifting leg up off the floor thing, it was really frustrating because I couldn't do it. Or maybe you feel, oh yeah, I, couldn't, I really couldn't breathe in this forward bend or in the shoulders that Just become aware. Take a moment just to reflect. The last week I remember mentioning that we, the point of doing yoga is so that we can live more joyfully. And the, one of the ways that yoga helps us to do that is yoga helps us to notice what causes us to be not so happy, what triggers reactions and responses in our body. When you practice with mindfulness, you start to notice when you're being triggered, what posts are bringing up things for you. Not because those posts have any magic, but it's because in our nervous system we store all these habits where we react a certain way to certain things. And when we become aware, then we can start to create change. So if you are aware that doing something today on the mat had triggered a response in your body, how did you react? Did you tense up more? And if you tensed up more, where did you tense up? So just little things that inform us. When you notice how you practice on the mat, you will notice how you live off the mat. And the changes that you can start to implement on the mat, you will start to use them off the mat as well. So if we're just going to go through our yoga practice and learn nothing about our own selves, we're missing the point. And then when you're ready, okay. let all that go now. We've done the work and it's time to rest. Okay? So we're not judging ourselves, we're just accepting that that is what happened. Okay? And take a nice deep breath in and sigh the breath out. And let's do that again twice more. Nice deep breath in. And let it all go. One more time. And allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly. Let the breath be soft and natural. Let your whole body be soft and relaxed. and surrender completely into the support of the earth. And relax. Relax. Relax.
things to just for a little bit longer. Start to become aware once again of breathing in and breathing out. Become aware of the body and the breath and connect the two together by gently deepening your in-breath and lengthening your out-breath. As you breathe in a little bit more deeply, allow the torso to expand a little more. And maybe you notice tension in the body that's stopping the torso from expanding. Then when you breathe out, see if you can invite those muscles to soften a little bit more. Breathing in, the torso gently expands a little more. Breathing out and soften into that expansion a little more. And take a moment now to check in with yourself, see how you're feeling. And when you're ready, take a deep breath of love and gratitude into this amazing body. Exhale with a big sigh. Deep breath of love and gratitude in for your amazing self. Exhale with another big sigh. And one more deep breath of love and gratitude in and hold the breath for a moment. Allow love and gratitude to flow to every cell of your being. And then sigh love and gratitude out to all beings on earth. And start to make little movements like wriggling the fingers and toes. Maybe rotating your wrists and ankles a few times in one direction and a few times in the opposite direction. And when you feel ready, do a big stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other. Stretching one side and then the other a few times as well. And then hug the knees deeply into the chest. Wrap your arms across your legs and rock it out side to side, massaging the lower back. Maybe you want to bring your forehead up towards your knees for a moment and breathe into the back body again. And then relax the head down and roll over to one side. Take a breath or two lying on your side just to let everything settle. And then come on up to sit and we'll do our three ohms together. So once you come up, sit nice and tall, lift your chest up. If it's more comfortable to kneel, please kneel. Okay. Palms together at your heart center, shoulders down, your back chin level with the floor. Take a deep breath in. Om. Om. your heart, thank yourself for looking after you. Om Shanti, thank you very much.